Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we are talking the side swoop. That is my hairstyle. It's You won't find it anywhere. It's one I've made up. <laughs> side swoop, volume swoop. That's what I've called it. Okay, so this is a hairstyle I really like to wear. Now, with, as with everybody, in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic, we're having to stay at home, of course, barbers and all whatever you want to call them, hair salons or, or where you go and get your hair cut, basically, um, is all closed. But I always like a longer length of hair on top. So a lot of people are sort of panicking into what sort of style they can have, outgrown styles and things. But I actually think it's a big opportunity to be able to really express what type of hair you like and to be able to explore different ways of different hairstyles what suits you now for me I like a lot of volume in my hair and I like very neat styles at times I like very groomed styles at times so very combed very sleek very shiny but other times I like a lot of volume I like a lot of texture and I like a lot of sort of I say undone but sort of uniformed so a little bit more sort of free a little bit more sort of casual but a little bit more uniformed as well. So it's got a style, just so it doesn't look like that you just shook your hair everywhere and you've just got a style like that. Of course, some people that works and absolutely looks great. But for me, that's what I like. And this is one of my styles, which very often I do come back to. My hair's getting really quite long now. So my hair is my uh, to the top, to my top lip. Um, I've got quite a lot of product in my hair. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really liking it. I cut my own sides at the moment. I have to admit, my, my amazing mum, she helps me with the back. But I usually like to keep the sides really short. So I've got a 0.5 going on. It is grown out now. Probably in about a week's time, I shall be having a look at doing that myself again. Um, and then like a bit of a defined line. So a bit of an arrow from the sides. And then all the way, so arched rather. And then towards a bit of an arrow towards the nape of my neck to a point. And that's for two reasons. One, because I really, really like the style. And number two, because I like there to be a feature in the back there when I've got a hearing aid wire through for my hearing aids. Okay, so today the volume swoop. How do we achieve that? So as you can probably tell, it's one with huge amounts of volume and a side swoop. So it's called the volume swoop. First things first, if you want to volumize style, just because you've got fine textured hair and you think, I have. So I've got fine textured hair, but I've got quite a lot of it. Um, and very often it sits quite flat. So doing a style like what I've got here does not come natural to my hair and it takes a lot of effort and a lot of work. Is it difficult? No, it's not. It's relatively easy. And when you find yourself routine what works for you for creating volume, stick with it because it's really, really very good to hold on to in your hair armory of styles and products which you know work for you. So first things first. OK, so you can't get the right cut you're looking for now. But cut is actually quite an important step in creating volume. So if you've got fine textured hair and you've got a long length of hair, it's going to take a lot more effort to get that hair to stand up. Whereas, for example, if you have had the hair cut into, and when I say that, I don't mean cutting, bulking, sort of taking huge amounts of the hair out. I mean, when you have your hair cut professionally, actually, they will use a thinning shear and literally just taking some of the weight out of the hair. And what that means is if you imagine you've got a long length of hair and it's all the same length, Going in through that hair and then just taking out some of the weight and thinning that out so there's like some shorter hairs, some medium length hairs in there and you won't see it. So you can you can describe it as that, but you won't see it. And then what that does is once you get that volume in your hair and you've used a blow dryer, you've used lifting products in your hair, those shorter hairs which have been cut will help support the longer hair. So it will create more natural volume. So if you're going for volume, that's a huge, huge thing. Now, quite way back before the pandemic of the coronavirus, I had my hair cut into a little bit. So even though my hair is longer, I've got some shorter length hairs in there, which still does help me with volume. Another great tip as well is when you're drying your hair off, dry your hair off to the opposite side you're wearing it. Now, that sounds strange, but because I'm wearing my hair on to this side, on my right side, I dry my hair off to the opposite side, towards the left side. OK. And that's a really great tip. And we're going to cover that shortly in a moment. So first things first, with my volume swoop hairstyle, it all starts when you have wet hair. So it starts in the shower. It starts in the bathroom. Using the shampoo and conditioner, which is creating volume, will literally start you on the right course for creating the right scaffolding, you could say, structure for your hair for volume. One of my favorites is by the L'Oreal Professional Cerioxyl range, and that's on my channel. It's really great for anti-thinning program for the hair. It's great for stimulating growth, 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 growth in the hair. And it's really, really great for that 
calling sensation, that soothing sensation, and I've had really great results with hair growth from that. Now, of course, you may notice I cannot comment, and I would not comment on terms of hair loss, but however, I always say prevention is better than cure. So if you are thinking that you'd like to use a shampoo which is great for stimulating hair growth, and which is actually designed for thinning hair, Surioxol by L'Oreal Professional is a really great product. And if you're creating a volume style, it's a gel-like texture, so it works on lifting the hair away from your scalp, lifting all those impurities because it's a clarifying shampoo as well which means lifting all the impurities away and getting that really deep clean on the scalp it's got menthol in there so it's really really cooling and it's got the uh it's got i won't go into it into too much detail because if you want to find out that please do have a look on my channel but it's got several different steps of the actual program which help you stay away and keep thinning hair at bay and again prevention is better than cure so certainly worth a look so Going back to the style, the volume swoop today, one of my favourite shampoos and conditioner sets to use is the L'Oreal Professional Surioxol. If you haven't got that, it is a bit costly, I would admit, but it's, it's, it's worth it, I would say that. But anything which is designed for volume or for finer texture hair will assist you, rather than using sometimes a conditioning product or one which is for damage. Now I say that because often these products can be quite heavy. Yes, they make our hair feel really soft and shiny and sleek, but after you've used something which is for moisture and your hair can feel like a mirror glass finish, so it's really soft and sleek, try getting volume into that. It's really notoriously difficult. So you want to really, really create volume. So you want to be looking for a shampoo and a conditioner which is going to work volume into your hair or if you've got finer hair, making it thicker. Now this is all about creating texture and grip in the hair as well. So after you've done that, if you towel dried your hair off, what's really, really great is to grab a root lifting spray. Now I've got a, a lot of them, but what I usually keep to my favourites, now this is one of my favourites as well. Now this is by the Matrix, uh, Total Results Matrix uh, range, and this is High Amplify Wonder Boost, and this is a root lifter. So you may think, what do root lifters do? So very often, easiest way to understand it, if you imagine the cuticle of the hair, a root lifter literally coats the hair right from the roots. And once you dry that off, whether it be natural uh, to the air or if you use a blow dryer, blow dryer is always better because the heat element really does help that volumizing uh, sort of course of action to really work and lift the hair away from the scalp. And I, if I go for a volume style like this, I absolutely spray it all throughout my hair, separate my hair and comb it all through. Then I grab a uh, slightly a bit of a round brush like a Damon brush here, or it can be a square vented brush. Um, for more men's hair, I would recommend that, or a smaller Damon brush like this one is my absolute favorite. Then of course, when you're going and drying your hair, for creating the maximum volume, what's really, really great to do is if you're wearing your hair off to the side, so for example, I've got my hair off to my right side today, Literally brush in one hand, blow dry in the other. Dry it off. <laughs> Did you see that? Dry it off to the opposite direction. Once you've done that, that will really, really get as much volume into your hair as possible. Don't rip half your hair out like what I've just done. Literally, isn't it's fine, absolutely. But blow dry in one hand, brush in the other, and brush it off and dry it off to the opposite side you're going to be wearing it. And then once you've got that, you will notice that you get much more volume. And that's because you're going against the natural sort of gravity and weight of your hair. So for example, my hair very often falls, I'm just trying to think actually, because I'm doing it from camera, the way to describe it. So very often my hair will fall off to the yeah absolutely it will fall off to the right side i'm just trying to think because you're going to see me from different on the camera to when i'm saying right and left so my hair naturally falls this way but because i've got a lot more volume on this side what i've done is i've blow dried it off to the opposite direction so of course i'm wearing it on my right side today but i dried it off to my left side then when you're nearly finished drying off your hair literally work through your hair and literally today from the front because most of my volume is in the front today what i've done is i've just literally rough dried with my fingers uh, with a blow dryer, rough dry with my fingers, the back of my hair. Haven't really touched a brush through that at the back at all. And then in the front where I want more volume. So about halfway through my scalp, what I've done is I've then just got the brush in one hand, blow dryer on the other, and really lifting quite taut. So not really quite aggressive. Don't be aggressive. Look after your hair. And then towards the ceiling, I've just been pulling the brush sort of quite firmly. And then with a the blow dryer, directing it across the hair and really lifting that volume. And then in the front, just several times lifting it up towards the ceiling. And then because I'm wearing it off to a side, directing it off to the side. But don't forget do that step first of all dry your hair off to the opposite side and then when it's mostly dry go in and do kind of what i call your styling with the brush and the blow dryer next after you've got that done what's really great then to go in so let's just quickly recap so you've got that volumizing or that thickener shampoo and conditioner then you've got your total uh 
you've got your sort of root lifting spray so whether that be the total results or whether that be uh, a product of your choice uh, another one i would really recommend as well is by the schwarzcroft volume maniac so it's in a yellow and pink bottle and that's really very good as well and there's also a trevor sorbet uh, root lifting spray which is in a pink and white bottle and that's really really great as well and i believe that has soy proteins in there or wheat proteins i can't quite remember off the top of my head but it is on my channel if you'd like to have a look as well and you may think that sounds a bit strange those products are put into root lifting sprays because they bind to the hair they make the hair appear thicker and if you imagine the cuticle of the hair and then it just covers the cuticle of the hair lifts the hair up away giving you much more thicker feeling hair so the appearance of fuller hair okay so let's move on what's really great i find as well for when you want a volumized style particularly if you find that after about an hour or two or halfway through the day that your style falls flat is this product here which is the schwarzcroft uh, volumizing styling powder which is great because after you've got that dry texture in your hair and you've got that volume you want it to last now this helps hair even more appear thicker feeling fuller as well and it helps the hair stand on end away from the scalp so then what i would do is part your hair off into parting through and then this is very fine like a very fine dust and then literally just tap it through your hair all the way through Okay, all the way through. Now I do that literally all over my head. Then flip your head forward and then literally invigorate your scalp, really run your fingers through your hair, really rub your scalp. You'll find it gets ever so slightly a little bit tacky, but I promise it's not sticking, it doesn't ruin your hair. Then you'll find that your hair stands away really, really high and you get a lot more volume. Because the style that I've got here, it's texture I'm going for, I'm leaving the combs alone. If I want a comb style, I've recently done a video, so have a look at that one. But I like texture, and with texture, when you use your hands, you can get much more height than what you can with a comb as well. I will just put that out there. So sometimes if you're looking for huge volume, what's really, really helpful is using your hands and then pulling your fingers through. So because what I've done is I've dried my hair kind of into the style that I want, first of all, drying it off to the opposite direction and then drying it with my small Damon brush here into the style which I want. What I then do is take a small amount of like a lifting wax or a lifting paste. The one I've used today is by the Fish Range and this is called Ruffled Fish Reworkable Wax Fiber. That's strong hold matte finish. So the definition of a wax with the thickness of a fiber for defined devilish styles i believe that is and that's for volume but anything which is like a lifting putty or a paste which is quite thick and i always find the harder it is to work through your hands the more volume you will get which is great so i always take about half a golf ball size amount if you need more then level um sort of build on the product because that will give you more volume as well um so take a small amount rub it through your hands and then literally from your roots pour that through your hair and then what i've done because i've dried my hair off onto this style with my fingers open your hand up really nice and wide and then i've literally pulled it through and as you can see i don't go right down to my scalp because that just kills any volume really really lightly and then just ever so slightly lightly i said not slightly ever so lightly pull that through with your fingers and as you can see hopefully you can see where my fingers have been just to create the style and you know what it all starts to come together so because i've got the volume swoop what i do is i take the front side here and then i swoop that off to the back and then this sort of section down here so what i would say is this part of my hair comes up and then over and then this part of my hair sort of what we can see now i literally take with my fingers and i pull that through here so with my fingers here as you can see i've got the the, uh, the spaces where my fingers are spread out and then literally this bit of the hair comes down here top of the hair up lift a little bit and then across to the back and in the back here i just pick a few pieces of hair up lift it up so i've got some texture so it's quite undone lift it out slightly so it doesn't look so uniformed sometimes i want it to look really neat and tidy other times i don't lift it and then spray everything with your favorite freeze hold product or your hairspray or whatever you use my personal favorite is schwarzcroft got to be the glue blasting free spray and that's in the yellow can um really really amazing product i find it lasts it makes your hairstyle last all day um and i hope you agree for me that looks really really cool really quite trendy really modern really youthful that's the style i really like and enjoy to wear and another thing of course i wear hearing aids if you're regular to my channel i wear hearing aids and very often you may think well i can see one very often i don't want to show my hearing aids off all the time so just this side swoop here lets me cover up one side of my hearing aids it's really great and i really like this style and it's kind of like a real comfortable really quite switched off style so very often i'm used to having really combed slick styles with lots of product really combed um really uniformed sometimes it's nice just to leave to lose that and really really go for quite a, a volumized quite an undone but yet uniformed look um 
really modern, really trendy. Okay, so I hope you really enjoyed my clip. I certainly have, as I said, it's one of my favourite styles, and I think it looks really cool. <laughs> if I don't say myself, um, and give it a try. If you can take anything away from those uh, those tips which we've come through this today, this is my volume swoop hairstyle. You won't find that anywhere. That's what I'm calling it. My style. <laughs> You're very welcome to give it a try. And these products are on my channel if you'd like to have a look as well. Okay, for the last time, thank you very much for watching and really enjoyed this clip. And until next time, I hope you have. We will see you then. Bye bye now.